the beat. <laughs> the only reason that we did that is because Kaka was over top feeling like, we eat the king. You know, keep part, keep part two of the fix. But anyway, guys, welcome to our channel. Welcome to the fix. Ah! Guys, I'm so excited for today. I'm so so excited. Uh, I know I haven't posted in a while, but you know, the way I'm posting, guys, <laughs> like, I feel no like pressure every too. week, every week, I'm, I'm always saying, guys, I haven't posted in a while. Mm. That's not the point to me. Mm. The point is to provide just good content. Mm. That is my point, and that's exactly what we're going to be doing today. <laughs> I'm sitting here with Garabo Chabuse. Yes. <laughs> all I'm saying is that, remember that name. That is all I'm saying. Like, remember <laughs> that name. And Tommy, before we even start, mm. I just want to tell people how I actually got introduced to you. Yeah. It's so funny, ne? Is that I got signed to Women's in 20, I think 15. Mm. 2015, 2014, I can't remember. Mm. Got signed at Women's and then I remember in my final year, which was 2016, mm. uh, I'm on the Women's uh, Facebook page. I wanna like the back students or it was the selection day, I can't remember what it was. Mm. So I'm like, oh this girl, this girl's from birth. I know this girl, I know <laughs> this. And then oh, well, I get I know man. Come and see about this girl. The following week, we go to the clinic. Mm. And we were doing labor together, but you were in a different group. Yeah. And I remember seeing her and I'm like, man, I remember this girl. I think this is the girl from the picture. Get mm. away. I don't know if you remember the story, Jim. Hi! I saw you! You did Selection Day or, or Vap Work at Bowman's. And she's like, Hi, my name is Karabo. Karyo! I don't know. I saw the handshake. It's okay. Even the handshake, Jim, it was like. It was a serious handshake. I was like, okay, okay. <laughs> Fast forward to me. <laughs> I don't remember you don't that. Remember. I, but like, I do remember seeing you in the law clinic building and I was like, this girl is so beautiful. So gorgeous. <laughs> 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 no, no. <laughs> Seriously, yo, I, I can't like, remember. But girl. that was the first time. Wow. And then, fast forward. I was like, uh, first day at Bournemouth, I was like, oh, okay, what oh, she got signed? <laughs> and that was it. Like, she wasn't my friend. I didn't know you. It was just, I think the people that I knew got Bournemouth was like Andrea, mm. in passing, Hone, and Koke is also in passing. Mm. And then, okay, then we started getting to know each other. And I'm like, guys, I need to get to know this lady. Sometimes you have to have it on my corner. Yeah. No, honestly, Chomi, and I, you know, it's funny. People always say, oh, yeah, you know, we praise our friends. But honestly, friend, like knowing someone like you. Wow. I'm sorry. And, I say, and I, I'm, I'm saying this on camera so that you can see your own reaction on camera. Guys, let's like, remember that name. Can I? I know. I know it's your interview. I know it's your channel. Uh, okay. Can you make YouTube channel? Okay. I have always admired you. And for Bowman's, we know the candidates that come in because they all have caliber candidates, right? Mm -hmm. It's part of the requirements. But I had known her, but only mm -hmm. she's not going to stay with us for the entire period. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so me. you were set apart by. She's the one going to the con court. Mm. And I was like, wow, mm. that must be something so brave. Because in a corporate world, mm. you almost have to follow Chomi, the course. line. Mm. And for you to even want to plunk yourself all the way and go out mm. to go be a clerk, mm. it's something that's scary because you're like, you're playing with your future. Of course. Of course. So I wanted to know you from then. I'm like, yeah, this girl. She was like, oh, to know me. <laughs> but anyway, guys, this is this is a different conversation that we're having right now. Today, uh, I think my friend, even before when I was telling you why I wanted you on this channel, mm. was because I wanted you to tell your story. Mm. To me, it's easy to say, okay, can I get degree? Can you Can I be Let's just go with the flow. Mm. You know, it's it's easy to say that and to be content because I would think by that time where you've got your degree, you've got your business, you're married. You have your beautiful daughters, you'd be fine, you'd be mm. content, you know? Mm. But that's not what happened with you, my friend. No, it's not. So tell me, tell me, <laughs> what, tell me, tell me. Okay. You went to VITS, my friend, when? So did you, did you go to VITS 
immediately after vast, I mean, after high school, or what did you mm. do? No, I didn't. So I matriculated two thousand and four. Okay. Um, and I and I always say, <laughs> and then my dad, the king of education, he mm. study my girl. Mm. Like if my dad. <laughs> Could remove the TV score high, mm. he would, mm. but thank God for my mom. Mm. So he, we he, we were always pressurized global, mm. and I was defiant, and I wanted to say to my dad, I can make it without education. Mm. Wrong choice. Wrong. <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> I just remember like, it's tough. Yeah, education. it is. It's and then Nikki said, "Tell papa get the example. Get mm. Steve Jobs. Mm. He dropped out. Mm. Bill Gates didn't finish. Mm. Mm. Nah." I'm those people in the making. Okay. So um and not to say that you can't make it to me. It's just so much more incredibly difficult. Mm. Mm. I think education sets you up. Mm -hmm. Not also not mindset, but just gives you market access that, that you won't believe. Yes. Hey. So Katamaya, can you speak a call center? Go to the net bank call center. Hi, ma'am. How may I help you? Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I got irritated very quickly because I was like, I'm not going to You know, every day. Get hi, ma'am. Yeah, get hi, ma'am. Mm -hmm. and, and there's nothing wrong if you want to be in that field. Mm -hmm. But na, I always was itching for more. I was itching for more. There must be something more to life mm. than how I help you, ma'am. Mm. Get not only with my my tail in between my legs. Thank you, Luwele Baba. Sorry, show me. After call center, I got a marketing assistant okay. at a pharmaceutical company called AstraZeneca. Mole show me. Nelly fell a car. Oh, marketing assistant can be so. Mara kadla kadla negile chigel. Yo guys, tell you me. were never ready. Let me tell you. <laughs> Nikki received a tour and then the guests are the marketing manager. Kiluba Sita or boardroom or chem. Chemi, I wasn't even taking minutes. No, I was not allowed into the meeting. Mm. No, no, no. Marketing assistant. Sita. Mamela, welcome to AstraZeneca. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, and then um, I would be required to make the refreshments. I love serving Chomi. Mm. I, I, there's nothing wrong with serving. Mm. But I get confused like a title, man. Title in Marketing, man. Assistant to Chomi. Yeah, you know, you to your papa, I tell you more. How long is it going to take you to be Steve Jobs? I decided I'm more. Yeah, you're fine. Yeah. 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 And I can invite you to do the needs. Hey, me. And then I decided I think I'm not going to be a good And then I decided I think that I want to be stimulated mentally. Mm. Mm. Is it not me saving money for registration fee? Is it not me? Is this before you spoke to your dad? This is before I spoke to my dad. I saved up the money. Okay, okay. But then I, I wanted. I've always been a daddy's girl, so I wanted to impress him, you know, and then when I was ready to apply, I said, look, I'm going to apply. Mm. Was he not over the moon? <laughs> so then I, I applied, uh, and then in 2007, which is to answer your question, Chumi, I then enrolled to um, study uh, my BA Govitz. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. So the BA, Chumi, mm. before we even get to the law stuff, Mm. When you when you were gonna do a BA, you said were you was your plan always to do law immediately after, or what was your plan when you did the BA? Like you said, I'm gonna do a BA and then what? To be honest, I was what twenty one or what? I didn't have direction to me, man. I I wanted to be Steve Jobs. <laughs> Okay, after this, after no. this. No. Okay. I was a call center agent and then I was a marketing assistant yeah. slash T mm -hmm. And then I thought, if I get an education, I'll get a better job. And I'll be Steve Jobs. I, and then somehow I'm going to be Steve Jobs. Okay. Okay. You okay. know, I, I knew that I loved football. I knew that I liked sports. I knew that but I liked like, where politics. Where did that come from, it's the daddy's girl oh, aspect okay. of me. Okay. So okay. I would sit and with my dad because I wanted to be in his company. My father is a politician, mm -hmm. so he was never home. Mm -hmm. And the time he is home, all he wants is like the TV, cricket, mm -hmm. soccer. 
and I knew to have conversation with my dad about politics and the world. You needed to. Be I had to be next to him. Oh, he okay. taught me mm. football. He taught me cricket. Uh, and those are my favorite sporting codes. So that's where the love came mm -hmm. in. And so um, I, I I knew that there was something bigger. Mm -hmm. I couldn't articulate what that was. Mm -hmm. And so I studied politics and international re relations mm -hmm. because of the political influence of my dad, thinking I could get into international relations. Mm -hmm. At the same time, I then uh, met a couple of like-minded friends. We would go to football matches together. This is in varsity. This is in 2007 when I'm starting. Okay, okay. And then we decide, let's start this uh, agency, sports agency, where we could manage football players. Mm. And you remember in that time, Nelly wore Jampule in Yeah, yeah. And I, I mean, in the media, the narrative was like, football players need help. Football mm. players need help. Mm. And being the service girl that I am, uh, when we started this company, thought that we could give service to, to players. That stuck. I can't remember the name. This is, this is just the beginning. I'm so what she's doing now. Guys, okay, my friend. So you start this agency. Mm. This is the while you're at Vids. While I'm first year Vids, first year I open the company. <laughs> Guys, what were you doing in Vids? Now, first year I was busy stressed, I was stressed, I was money. No! I, boys were showing me flames in first year. My man, I was money old. So what happens? Go for it, Trim. You yeah. are starting this new agency, you're yeah. back at school, yeah. and everything's going well. No. No, it's not okay. <laughs> everything's not going well. Why? Because I was not focused. I was not focused. I was like you. I started the company, but I I had a boyfriend. Of you course, know. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm a and the boyfriend gave you all. I'm a level high. I'm a level high. I'm a level high. Okay. And so we started the company, but for me, school was like a distraction. Mm. So I did school to get through it because I knew that was required of me. Mm. So my marks were just standard and ordinary friend mm. and. Uh, whilst at university having this business on the side which was from you know the boots of our cars we didn't have offices mm. we would be called by a police station or municipality to do coaching clinics mm. thankfully we had very good clients uh coach Debo Homoloi was our client so we could service people mm. at the same time I fall pregnant mm. so I was a mess I was a mess, mess, mess. I mean, that's a lot, hey? I was a mess. <laughs> and then, so the pregnancy happened. Mm. And then, now you have to go back home. Mm. And say, okay, get, get a school, but get a situation. Mm. How was that? I was disappointed. In was, yourself? In myself. Mm. I was uh, 20, 21. Uh, between 20 and 21 years mm. old. And here I was, now I've just decided to go to school. Mm. And my dad doesn't understand this business thing. Mm. Um, and I wanted better for myself. Mm. You know, I, I didn't want to be go school long and pushing tummies. Mm. And it was a, a lot psychologically for me. Mm. You know that environment. Show me. Oh, push up cover. The looks. She <laughs> <laughs> looks. Oh, yeah. oh, nah. mm. And I, you know what? It's strange why it's like that. I would think, okay, high school. It would mm. be like that. But varsity, to me, there's people from different walks of life. Mm. I don't understand why there's so much pressure, you know. Mm. I mean, there's people that are older in university, that are married. Why is that an issue for most open? I don't know. There's just... It's, yeah. But, but I, I understand what you mean because I had a friend of mine that was pregnant in our second year. Mm. And she would walk into class and everybody would be like... Silence. Silence. And I'm just like, they stay, they they stay. I think the culture to me is that it's 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 an environment of education. Yeah. And it's an environment yeah. of yes, there's different people from walks of life, but predominantly we're young. Yeah. So true. they look at you and they say, like, mm. hey, ambition, yeah, I'm not ambition. Ah, she okay. up, they call it they call it uh <laughs> When Jane comes to Joburg, hey, yes. mm. and then you find a boyfriend in Joburg and, and then, then you're pregnant. That's mm. what that's what they call it, ne? And they write you off immediately. 
So I found that like a lot of people who I thought were my friends withdrew from me. Really? Yeah, it was a lonely, lonely, difficult time. Um, and I was scared. Mm. I was so scared. And I thought I wouldn't make it. Mm. I thought like I would not be a success because now this is mm. you know, and people don't want to be associated with you. Mm. And when you feel like mm. it's mm. not like you look at family planning. <laughs> you know, family planning, it happened, and no. I was disappointed. Mm. But you know, thank God, I was still able to finish my degree. Mm. I was still, I had the best supportive structure. I thought that my dad would disown me. Mm. He actually embraced me, mm. um, and that's what helped me. And it, I know it's not the same for most people. Some people have to leave school. Yeah, and, no, definitely, mm, definitely. Mm. Okay, then, so you felt pregnant to me, then you finished your degree, mm -hmm. right? And so, what did you do after? Because I know you didn't go back, you didn't go <laughs> law school directly, I get no. Yes. No, life is like zigzag, true. Mm. Life is like zigzag, and if anything, I hope people can take that away. God, it's okay to have a zigzag way to your purpose. Or what you want to do. It doesn't have to be a straight line. No, yeah. there is no straight line I to success. I hear you. Libo, number Steve Jobs, wow. If you do follow like mm -hmm. and there's beauty in that. Mm -hmm. There's beauty mm -hmm. in detour. So I got this degree at politics. Mm -hmm. I got this degree at international relations. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, who make you look so miserable? Wow, wow. But yeah, I then because the company was starting to take off, friend, mm. I then gave my entire focus mm. to the company. Mm -hmm. I was a young mother, I was newly married, mm -hmm. and I just didn't see politics as something I, I wanted to do. Mm. I was passionate about helping players. Mm -hmm. I was passionate about helping coaches negotiating employment contracts. Mm. And so we opened this uh, company now having offices. Give mm. us ah, 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 imagine. <laughs> sure. We had offices go new town. But you know what what mm. before you even go on my friend, mm, mm. I think what the story is telling me is that okay, so most people go to Basti, want a job from wherever, from a company that they aspire to work for. But your story is so different because you went from varsity, worry, businesswoman. Yeah. Like it's inspiring because sometimes if things don't get handed to you or if you don't find the job that you want, start your own. Like, mm. whew, I know. Mm. Okay. Mm. And then my friend, you started and then, so then, um, the work that I do was as an agent, mm. but I didn't immediately become a licensed agent. Mm. So back in the day, the regime was that you had to get a FIFA license to represent players. And so I then went to do that exam. Mm. <laughs> that was my favorite part. Mm, okay. Because you know the story. <laughs> and then you did the exam to me? And I failed. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Okay. I failed the exam twice, show me. Mm. I only passed on the third occasion. I don't fail in that. I don't fail. In yeah, yeah, I sure. don't fail. And so on the third attempt, I then passed the FIFA license exam. Mm. And I became the first female accredited football agent in Africa. <laughs> Which was a big deal. It was a big deal. It still is. <laughs> I'm just guys. <laughs> First female FIFA accredited players agent in Africa. Okay. Mm. Which okay. basically meant I was the first woman to have the license. Mm. Yeah, FIFA to manage players. And I was elated. My friend. I was elated, Chomi. I won't lie. Because it meant horrific. I am going in the right direction. Mm. It meant hurry. But did you, Chimmy, when mm. you when you wrote the exam, mm. did you know you were the first female? Mm. Oh, you knew? Mm. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay, okay. And so you did that? I knew I was the first female because it was a big deal. Not a lot of people will sit for this exam. Mm, okay. We were six in the room. And at the time, I think there was two male registered agents in South Africa. Mm. And then... Um, there was a TV crew following another girl mm. um, who 
was part of our company and she left. Unfortunately, she didn't pass the exam. Mm. But it was a big deal, Jimmy. Mm. And I felt a lot on my shoulders, Khadr. You need to pass this exam. Mm. But I didn't want to continue as a fly-by-night agent. Mm. I wanted to say I respect the rules. Mm. I want to have the indemnity insurance to because it's part of the requirements to represent players. Mm. I was now in love with fighting for players mm. to get jobs or their employment contracts. And so to get it in 2009, I was like, what degree? <laughs> Bye-bye. Mm. Bye bye. Yeah, so that that's was amazing. Mm. Oh, that's amazing. Mm. Oh, guys, no, that's amazing. And so you continued obviously with the business. Mm. So let's start talking about the thinking behind I want to go back to school. Yeah. And why? Yeah. And why law? Yeah. Okay. Law was inspired by my everyday functioning as an agent. Mm -hmm. As an agent, what you do is you find football talent, mm. Mm -hmm. and then you go look Ogoda at different football clubs. Mm -hmm. Coco, I've got this talent, the striker, mm -hmm. please consider him. Mm -hmm. And they say yes, then you negotiate the employment contract. Mm -hmm. So I was exposed because I could go go that, mm -hmm. I could find talent, but I couldn't do the employment contract in to such a degree that I said, yes, my client is protected. Okay. So you have to find people to do that for you? No, I could oh, do it. Yeah. The license helps you do it, but how about a non-variation clause, Chumi? <laughs> so. <laughs> oh, so, you're there in the meeting? <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, no, I, yeah. No, yeah, yeah. That time, proper contrarentum came to me. Proper contrarentum. They interpret the contract against the author of the contract. Mm. Go, 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 and China. Go as law school. You're taught those things. Yeah. Then what would happen? Now I dealt with amateur players. Mm -hmm. So go really to the bottle. You don't know. know. You don't know. You negotiate an employment contract. There's options and fancy terms to keep the player locked in. Mm. There's signing on fees. And I would learn. I mean, I was coming into the industry and I would learn. But what would happen is that when the club breaches the contract, mm. I would have to find a, law a lawyer now and pay a lawyer. Ish. So that's what inspired me, Khore. I think I can help my players, mm. my clients better mm. by going back to law school. But you see, what, what I just love is that it's like everything there was a now from moving from just doing a degree for the sake of doing a degree, you now you had a plan. Mm. Like at that stage, you had a plan. Okay, mm. I see mm. why I want to do this. Okay, I'm doing it for this reason. And you went to school knowing that you, knowing the plan that you had okay mm -hmm. i'm working on i'm working on like this and if i get this degree it will help me in this guys i just love your story my friend thank you too oh my god <laughs> like everything like it, it, it's so purposeful and i love that Jorge, you did in the beginning not so much but as you went along everything had a purpose yeah everything you had a reason for <clears throat> the, the, the the things that you did okay then you went back to school yeah so it's a but because I had this business, mm. uh, the demands of the business would would take away from the requirements of school. Mm. So I knew that I'm an all or nothing type of a girl. Mm. I have to get obsessed and entrenched in what I was doing. Mm. So I would find that, yes, I was doing well, mm. but I, I didn't feel like I was getting what I required to do. Mm. You know how Ropa the assignment. Yes. Like Ropa the assignment. Now get all the marks. Get all the marks. But you would look at it like intro to law. Eh, if you ask me about the course after, hey, we're going to see. What is what? So, can you say that? Ah ah. Twenty thirteen. You know what? Let me just do full time. Get COVID. So I had to withdraw from the active role of mm. being an agent every day. Mother of two kids, sure. I had to retrench people. Sure. We, I mean, it wasn't a big team, but to retrench four people, people who you consider your family mm. was a lot. I decided to be a backpacking, caring student. My friend. School bag. Well, you know. old, old, and how old were you at the time when you went back um, full time? 2014 was two years before 30, so I was 28. Sure. 28, yeah, when I went back. Olimu. Olimu. Gilly, eh, uh, ma'am, can I ask you a question? <laughs> but that's amazing, Freya. Yeah. Someone yeah. was saying, uh, last week we had a live, 
Mm. And this lady, she's like, I'm 27, I've got two kids. I feel like it's too late. I'm like, there's no such thing. Never. You can Never. always go back. I think that is my story, Chomi. My story is to, and it's similar to my dad's story. Mm. My dad, at 50, went back to school full time. Full time. No ways. I come back there. See, Papa, can I? Woo. Daddy. We're not going to watch that. Papa, can I? Corando. A four by four. And then things happen. Come to be seeing me. And he's like, my love, I'm going to need you to take her out for the family. I need you to look at my degree in town planning. My dad, I my first degree. I got my first degree. So it wasn't strange for me yeah. that I'm downsizing the business again, a, a successful business. Mm. I'm asking my husband to step in the line again. I'm asking my children to you know, make space for me, give a little more and I in the study center. Mm. I would sleep late. I would wake up early, keep it go long. Because friend, I felt hot this is what I needed to do. And I feel like my story is to tell mm. someone when you are tagged in your heartstrings, when you are pulled, when you are an easy come to the team and you feel hot man I must be doing something can I fair. Don't hesitate to be that. Lady you need that. Don't friend, hesitate. We can end the video. <laughs> <laughs> If, if you don't get anything, like, if, if, if that's the only thing that you get from this video, I would have done my job. Mm. Like, like, I feel like you're talking to me, mate. Really? Like, as, as, you, as you're talking, I feel like, yeah, we were we were, we were, we were, what's happening in my life mm. at this moment. It's just, mm. even the part where you say, you, the support, you had to obviously get support from your husband. Mm. I feel like it's the same thing that I'm going through mm. not even from me directly but supporting my husband in that way mm. Jorge, it's just you know when someone is hell-bent on following their dreams yeah they need support Kaholu. Kaholu because without the support mm. everything else crumbles mm. if Josie at the time could not or was not unable to help me P management would have been in the same spot that it was in 2007 mm. I would not honanoki to some clients in dispute. Okay, that natural me. Because I'm representing my client. So I've saved them cost their legal fees mm. by me coming in and stepping in for mm. them. So if Kibalo and natural me, I'm glad because I feel like that's part of my calling. How can Shababu judge my Siva? Oh, now it's the Oscar Pistorius mm. case. Mm. She did her law degree late. Mm. You know, how can the SCA uh, president at the moment? Me only nearly caught interpreter. So, if there's something for you, it won't let you go. It will continue to talk to you every day. Tidi, awataba. Tidi, there's something else for you. And if your husband is doing it, support and friend is going to pay you later. Hi, baby, baby. No, support, <laughs> not that I was not supposed to be my baby, but I want to know. You're that patient. Yo! Mm. Whoa, wow. You're that patient. That is just, yeah, that's incredible. Mm -hmm. And then, my friend, you went to Vits. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Guys, this is my favorite part. I had a lot of grief. As I'm a graduate, I feel like. As I'm a. I. I. Cum. I can't even say it. Like, I better cum lord. <laughs> Two kids, husband, business, but no excuses. Mm. No excuses. And uh, like this reminds me of Botale's video. No, there is no excuse. Mm. <laughs> no. Mm. If you want to get the good and to me, tell me why. Why why was it different now? And why was it important for you to get those good marks versus when you did your first degree? Mm. So my first degree, I realized, was not necessarily for me. Mm -hmm. It was what society required mm -hmm. to call me a success. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I did a degree, and I didn't even go into the field. Mm -hmm. And maybe by now we're going to do our degrees too young. Mm -hmm. Think about just after a school frame. Mm -hmm. You spoke about your first year. No, 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 no. And so my degree, I was not really there. Mm -hmm. This degree... I was fully present. You were there. I was fully charged. I wanted it so badly. Mm. I wanted to be a lawyer so badly because 
it was speaking to what I'm doing on a daily basis, mm. which is representing clients. Mm. But mm. it was also a time for me to show my children, Hore, mm. Mama can do it. If Mama can do it, Linda. And if Mama una lidi cookie ni una lidi egg, I expect you to also play your part. So my children mana live at pressure. So friend, this time it was different, and I was in love with what I was doing. Mm. So if I'm in love with that, what what I'm doing, I might as well do the best. Yeah. So a k lachi lekum la de. I will lachi de shi me la. I will ke. We say I like is king is king. I'm so karate mo le. Yeah. Ne neva kiko rutsen chaba chobe kiko zalaga tigri. Yeah. Ne neva kiko kupa muna kahori baby bondi ya ya sakona kutuza. Chobe kiko zalaga tigri. Uko chala di force di di force chobe. I never thought I'd have something, guys. I never thought I'd have. Hey, hey, arts in it, arts in it. You say it, guys. I love this video. Wow. <laughs> and so, Jimmy, then the decision of performance and applying. Mm. Why? Why that? Because I know obviously you had a business. Mm. And so, why did you think you wanted to go to a big five firm when you could have just gone back into your business? Okay, so why not back to um, the business? Mm -hmm. mm. It was in my heart's desire to always go back to the business. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, in terms of our qualification, mm. once you qualify your LLB, you're mm. a lawyer. Mm. You are not a practicing attorney. Mm. You are, in fact, not allowed to go out and service clients. Yes. So we do the practicals. If you're going to go the advocacy route, then you need to do your pupillage, mm -hmm. which is a year. Mm -hmm. If you need to do the attorney route, then you need to do your two years. Mm -hmm. And I knew that I still wanted to go back to the business. Mm -hmm. I thought that I wanted to be an advocate, but it would limit what I could do mm -hmm. in terms of the business. So mm -hmm. the best approach was to be an attorney. Mm -hmm. And if then I was going to be an attorney, I wanted to go to the best, you know? Of course. Like to just mm -hmm. any old uh, firm. Mm -hmm. I wanted to go to a firm that was in line with the work that I wanted to do. The best team in South Africa. So you researched that? No, I researched. Yes, that's on paper. Oh, so I'm gonna Africa again. I feel like I'm gonna go for it. Ah ah, I got I got China. But the decision was made in my last year, mm. uh, because of the research, but because also I was sure that I wanted to be an advocate for a long time. But hold on, my friend. Mm. Mm. When you're saying. The decision was made in your last year. So you only applied to Bowman's last year? My last year. You know why? Mm. That is a little bit of a pause for me. Mm. Because we always say apply early. Which is, it's good yes. to apply early, right? Yes. But the advantage of having good marks. Yeah. You can even apply late. Yes. What if I, yes. Is that they could only consider you if well, you were okay. exceptional. Exactly. Mm. And uh, because yeah. other people are just exceptional in life. I mean, nah. You know, <laughs> I'm, I'm okay. Yeah. Last year. <laughs> wow, guys. Wow. Hey. <laughs> okay, so you applied in the final year. And Tell me, no door is closed. I believe that. There's no mm. door that's closed. Mm. They say apply early because it's in their processes to apply early. But it's almost as naked. Really, so hard. Get look again. Get look again. And in the proper channels, nothing untoward. Mm. But get look again. Mm. So when I decided to call it, and at the time, like you say, they do consider you if you're exceptional, if you make a case for yourself. Mm. Mm. Um, and so I made a case for myself. I said, "You do employment law. I have employment experience. <laughs> I've got, I've got good marks. Mm. You want good marks." And so I set out in my heart how I was going to go to Bowman's. And then I applied. Yeah. Selection day, I killed it. Of course. Uh, because, but also because, like, more if you come and you're yourself, and I say, this is why I can add value. Mm. I've got working experience. I love employment law. Mm. I negotiated contracts in my past life. Mm. Then they were like, okay, we want something that you can give. So, yeah, that's why Bowman's. Okay. La buena madre. Hey! Yeah, no, guys. Okay, so you went to Bowman's and mm. obviously the first rotation by employment. Yeah. Because that's what sh that's that was always the plan, mm. right? And so you did articles at Bowman's and then you become an admitted attorney. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And where are we now? <laughs> where are we? This is my favorite part. Obviously, like I think I've had three favorite parts of this video <laughs> already. <laughs> Hey, see, do man now? Uh, there's Chabuse attorneys, and there's P management. 
so, all I'm saying is that at this, at this part of the video, I'm going to have a, you know how they have, we can do it ourselves, let's just do it ourselves, oh my friend, hey, oh hype man, yeah, so, Chabuse um, attorneys, yes. Chabuse attorneys, let's say it, Chabuse attorneys, hello, yes, guys, that's amazing, my friend, yo, Chabuse, you're thinking, I want to go work now. I want to go work. <laughs> okay, so Chabu said yes. when did that start? Like when did you start? Obviously the vision was always there to represent clients mm. and to you know. But I think the question that I want to ask is that a lot of the times you get into a big firm, you mm. do really well, you get retained, you work as an associate and I don't wanna use the word comfortable. Mm. But we become comfortable. Mm. It's nice, you know, and Luthi, let me say it's nice, isn't it? It's nice. I understand. I get it's nice. I get it. I understand. You know, it's a good salary. Yeah, you get the bonus. It's mm. good, you know. So that leap of faith to say, okay, and not, let me not even say it like that. How did you not get lost in that thing of? I'm comfortable. Mm. I will be a senior associate. I'll be a partner at Bowman's. Mm. Mm. Yes, P management is still there, but what was that push to say, "This is time"? When did you know mm. it was time to leave Bowman's? I didn't always know that I wanted Chabuse attorneys. Okay. I knew that P management would forever be there mm -hmm. in my heart mm. because I believe that I've been um, called to assist the football fraternity mm -hmm. in one way or another. Mm -hmm. So I knew that. Mm -hmm. I thought seeing the glitz and the glamour and the corporate life mm -hmm. um, that I would go candidate attorney, associate, senior associate, partner. Mm -hmm. And the path was clear. Mm -hmm. And I even pitched go the firm called Let's Do Sports Law, guys. Mm -hmm. I remember. Yeah. I remember that conversation. <laughs> and you remember how excited. I remember. I mean, I got the support in the firm to do it. I remember. But there was a tug in my heart that kept nudging me. And how I can describe it is an uneasiness. Mm. Again, that you're meant to do more. Mm. You're meant to do this sports law thing, this employment thing on your own terms. And you always know, right? It's an unsettling. Yeah. It's not know. even got to do with the firm or the corporate environment, although they are problematic parts mm. and we know those in corporate world across the board, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. um, but it was just an unsettling, mm -hmm. you know, of... I am here, I'm working till late, my kids are at home, mm. I really want to do, you know, that instruction, yeah, sports, and I just feel like I'm not making a contribution mm. in life. Mm. It doesn't matter this employment deal that you're making, this employment contract that you've just negotiated, or that dispute that you don't just solved. It mm. doesn't make a difference to anyone's life in the biggest scheme of mm -hmm. things because we're in a corporate world. Mm -hmm. It's corporate stakes, corporate transactions. Mm -hmm. And I was just, went back to almost when I was that marketing assistant again. Mm. Here I am now. Really? Now, mm, it was that same feeling. Wow. And not the lawyer hey. in a nice big firm. Mm. But it was almost as if, like, Nikki that tea girl again. Sure. It's like it's a lipstick, we're beautiful. <laughs> But when I drive home, I'm crying. Ah, oh, my friend. I'm crying. Hard. Man, there must be more. Mm. There must be more to this. Mm. And you know how we work, CD. Yeah. I mean, the, the lawyers or the aspiring mm. lawyers on your channel, you know how you work mm. in corporate. Mm. It's, it's tough. It's end to end. It's like late nights. It's demanding. It's chasing targets. Mm. And I was like, mm, I want more. Mm. I want more. And so due to the pandemic, you know, in, in my quiet moments, meditating in prayer with the Lord because mm -hmm. the pandemic made my spirituality more pronounced. Mm -hmm. I heard as clear as day, mm -hmm. the Lord say, now. I'm like, eh? Huh? Are you yeah. awake? And you're like, I am. I'm like, are you awake in pandemic? You know? And he's like, I will make everything great. Mm -hmm. 
I will make everything great. Go. I have sent you. Mm. I sent you to Bowman's. Mm. It was this is my dad, God mm, truly. No. And then I decided, I spoke to my husband, we prayed about it. I spoke to my bosses, go Bowman's, and I got a blessing. Mm. And true to form, to show you how it was a God move, it was a God dream. I am only a month and a bit out of Bowman's, mm -hmm. but I am so busy. Mm. I am so, I'm doing the work I've always wanted to do. We've already been involved in a case that has changed the one that you posted yesterday. Yes. yes. That has changed the, you know, things in football. And I wake up every day in the four corners of my dream. I wake up every day feeling like I've won the lottery. And I wake up every That's day amazing. feeling like I'm making a difference to someone's life mm. and to the industry. And there's no greater feeling than that. Mm -hmm. On top of that, I'm doing homework with my children. Oh! <laughs> I'm meeting targets. Who am I doing? You know, it's it's a blessing, true. Yeah. It really is. Hi guys, hi guys. No, like I vibes and drops mic. We're done. Guys, thank you so much. Thank you, my friend. Thank you so much. This was just like and I told you before we started this video, like I've been wanting to do it, but I just needed the right time. And I feel like today was just absolutely incredible. Thank you so much for joining Thank me you. on my channel. Thank you. Woo! Thank guys, you. as I said in the beginning of this video, remember that name. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for all your beautiful comments. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Guys, it's, mm. it's just amazing. Mm. And I'm grateful to each and every person that continues to reach out. It's been an amazing interview. Show me what you're doing is also great. To touch, but ba 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 bang. You know, uh, I know that your channel is purposely dripped but both for a reason as well. Mm. So continue. But the one content. Give them, give them, guys. Thank you so much. Remember to like, subscribe, and just engage in the comment section. Thank you. <laughs>